over at Occoquan when they first started, right? They started at Occoquan first in 1913, I think it was. I was actually surprised that the people actually stayed in when it was first built because there was no walls, I guess. It was just them building the structures. Right, yeah. They, at first, they probably only had tents and stuff. And they just stayed here, I guess, because there's nothing around? Really, yeah, because they uh, <laughs> brought them down on the barge. Really, yeah. That's probably why they set them uh, kennels up down there. And then they worked over there, I don't know how long, but all of a sudden they came over here and they built this. And then they went back to Occoquan. So I think they finished this one at sometime 1933 or something like that. And so you started working here in? 85. <laughs> they don't stay closed anymore, right? That's amazing how small oh, yeah. they are. <laughs> oh, it's just crowded. Uh, just like the uh, quad there. Yeah. That one time they was, uh, all this was fenced off and they had a gate here. Right. And the only ones uh, that ever got out of here was the ones that cut the grass. Yeah. Right. The only time they ever got to walk across was uh, when they uh, had a medical pass or going to see their CMP officer. So, so where did the um, the people stay? The prisoners stay when they were here. Uh, see, all those buildings down through there, yeah. all those are dorm style. Okay. And the same thing on this side. Okay. And then what was the, and then the end building down there? Oh, uh, that was the uh, kitchen. That's okay. where they ate at. Okay. And then this building over here behind us, what was this? Oh, that's the administration building. That's uh, the warden's office, uh, secretaries, just uh, timekeepers, stuff like that. Uh, what kind of person I'd were you that you got were in this area? High me high high medium right in here. Believe it or not, we had a lot of murderers that was in here for murder walking around in here. That's amazing. Uh-huh. But you got to realize, too, this was the only prison in the United States that had all different, that held all different classes of uh, inmates. Okay. You know, like your uh, minimum, uh, medium, high medium, and uh, max. So how did the cafeteria work when you were, I mean, does everybody eat at the same time or do you, or do you have the minimum eats together and the next group? No, I um, uh, eat at the same time, you just uh, line up out front there and you didn't want to be around when they opened them doors up because it's just like a funnel sucking in there. You could watch heads bouncing off the door jams and everything else. <laughs> and they had an old guy, an uh, old correctional officer in there about 70 years old. They run over his ass one day. I mean, just trampled him. Really? Yeah. Did he, did, did he, did he uh, die? Or? No, I don't think so. I think he spent about a week in the hospital. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess they just sat right here. It wasn't, it's not really very big. No, not for as many people that they, was, they were feeding. So it was just jam-packed. Right, yeah. So when you go to work here, are you here like all day or or I guess like your shifts, how does a shift run? Uh, uh, see, I was in maintenance. I wasn't a correctional officer. Uh, we just uh, worked from 7 to 4. Oh, okay. So yeah. you got the nice nice shift. Right. And nothing, not too much happened in the day. Everything happened at night. <laughs> <laughs> so at nighttime is mo most of the time when people try to escape or do things or get in trouble? No, or? it's when they get in fights and stab each other and stuff. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they, uh, But those inmates used to say, uh, come down the other morning, they say, they thought it was Halloween last night. Three or four of them come through the dorm with masks on. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> when you were working here, did you like it? Oh, yeah, that's actually the best job I ever had, really, as oh, yeah. far as... Uh, Money and the benefits, yeah, really, yeah. They grew all their own stuff. Oh, yeah, one time, yeah. They, they did. They had uh, hog farms, turkey farms, everything. Wow. This is the maximum security. This is where you had all your 
mostly They're lifers, serial killers, um, right. murderers, drug pushers. That's the way they came, that's the way they lived. Well, in this particular area, you didn't have any movement around. Everybody was locked up. Maybe I also the day to uh, for recreation, and then. Remain of the time we let them take a shower for about an hour, but the rest of the time they were locked up. They didn't have freedom of movement. Yeah, supposedly they're supposed to be uh, locked down. Well, they got one hour rack, but you can come in here. These doors would be open. They'd be all up and down through here. You couldn't even move up and down through here. If they, I think they had probably three televisions strung down through there with, that they watched and stuff. But actually, they weren't locked down as much as they're supposed to be. Right. Yeah. This always amazed me. Now, I had one guy work for me, and he came out one morning, oh, this guy, he, he was down in the dumps. I mean, he, you know, he just in a bad mood, I guess feeling sorry for himself and stuff. And we had a job to do over here, in here someplace. And we came over here. As soon as he walked in this place, man, that guy just perked up like he's home. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Cause I guess he's been, he was in the prison more than that. Right, time. yeah, he, uh, when he was back here, this is where he was. When the, they couldn't clear the count because they had too many people, they had put a bunch of them on the bus and just drive them around. During the night? The cat, to get the count cleared and then bring it back in. We come in a lot of times in the mornings and they'd be uh, sleeping in the TV rooms and every place. They wouldn't be a spot in there that you could go this. I guess they had the dumpsters right in, right up here someplace. But anyway, right when that, right after that incinerator opened up, right? There's two guys jumped into a uh, dumpster. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Truck come in and gets them, and instead of taking them to the landfill, they go into the uh, incinerator. The incinerator. Right. All right, when they go in there, when the trucks back up, they just don't dump it on the floor. There's a 40 foot drop that they dump oh. into. Oh and I think one of them broke his legs and oh everything else on the <laughs> busted them up pretty good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it gets to go from uh, trying to keep them in to keep them out now. Yeah. It's kind of scary if you were in there first. Yeah.